Today, we will be taking a look at the Virtual Cabinet in-tray. The in-tray is intended to be a temporary staging area for documents. Items should not spend any length of time in here, as it is designed to allow you to bring documents into the system before filing into a cabinet. Items in here can be incoming posts that may have been scanned to you, documents you have brought into the system yourself, or documents other users may have sent to you. The in-tray is made up of three core views. On the left-hand side, we have a document viewer. This is a multi-format viewer that allows us to view Word documents, Excel spreadsheet, PDF, PowerPoint, TIFF images, emails and so on. The beauty of this is it's a convenient way to work allowing us to view multiple file types in one location. In the middle we have a document list. These are documents which have been sent to us and are for our attention. On the right hand side we have an indexing pane. This shows us any filing cabinets where we can file documents into. To view a document, we simply click on the item in our in-tray list and we receive a front page preview. In most cases, this may be enough for us to action the document or file it away. However, if we want to view the document fully, we can double click on the document in our in-tray list or we can click once on the document preview. In the in-tray, there is no concept of close. We simply click on the next document and it will open for us, closing the previous one automatically. Our in-tray list is made up of three different tabs. We have a documents tab, a tasks tab that shows us any tasks or workflows that may have been assigned to us and a shortcuts tab. This shows us links to items that exist elsewhere in the system. On the right hand side is our indexing pane. This is also made up of multiple tabs. We have our Index tab showing us filing cabinets and we have our Intrays tab. The Intrays tab allows us to view other users' intrays. We can see here I have my default personal area, favourites and others which shows me other users' intrays. To view another user's intray I simply click on the name in the list. In this case, I have a very long list of other users. I have the ability to right click and set favourites, which allows me quick, easy access to commonly used areas. Along the ribbon on the top, we have a number of different functions. Here, we can perform actions in Virtual Cabinet or actions against the document. Along this ribbon, we have a refresh button that forces the in-tray to refresh. We can add new documents to our in-tray ourselves, force documents to open when indexing, allow other users access to our in-tray by using the security tab Create documents from a template library. Open documents. Edit items. Rename documents in our in-tray. We can duplicate to create a carbon copy.
Index or file documents away, keeping our in-tray clear. View the document audit. Apply notes. Create document packs, stitching multiple documents together as a pack. Send documents to other users. Extract documents. We can also email documents as an attachment, as a PDF if it's a scanned image, or email as a link for internal virtual cabinet users. Finally, we have print which allows us to print documents if required. Thank you for your time watching this video.